morning, everybody. Aloha. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Qigong with TJ on Maui. Ooh. Get yourself plugged in. Plug into the earth first. Bending with your knees, dropping the tail, pretending you're sitting on a one peg stool of white light, penetrating into the earth. Feel the yin, the stillness, the cool. Visualize your legs like a pyramid. Solid, square base. In this case, a triangle. But I like it even bigger than that. Now, from this place of a secure foundation, now it's safe to ascend. The taller the roots, the taller the tree. Pull in the navel, straighten the spine, draw in the chin, open the crown. The tree grows too tall without roots, it falls over. Get that base first, then go up. Visualize the white yin of earth going up. See the yellow of heaven, yang, coming down. Visualize a caduceus, a, a double helix around the center pole. And the center pole of light, the sushamna, the chong. Turn to the roof of the mouth. Breathe for several breaths, visualizing your white pool of light in the center, growing brighter through its connection to heaven and earth. And I remember what it felt like, the first conscious breath of waking up this morning, the stillness of the bed, the stillness of the air, the stillness of the body. Now open your eyes and your arms and stretch up, like a cat waking up from a nap. Invite some yang, some activity, some action into the body. Grab the yang chi from the morning sun and wipe off the body as we start the self-massage appetizer. And imagine you're stepping out of a sleeping bag, a white sack of sleepiness. And now activate the hands to gather the yang. And bring them up to the center of the chest. Mm. See yellow poof balls of energy around the hands from the yang chi. You can see the body energetically as a hard boiled egg, a yellow sphere in the middle surrounded by a white sphere. And we're gonna reverse that. And we're gonna squeeze that yellow yolk from the middle, the yang chi from the center, through the bones. And percuss your bone, bring your mind into your bone, and wake up your skeleton. Tight fist, pinky side down, Open in the breath. Up the outside. Over the top, switching. Up the inside. Round the ribs to the spine, wake up your spine. Pelvic crest, vibrate your pelvis. Long bones, legs. Spine, sternum. Mm. 
loose fist, finger side down, fluff the muscle layer. Wake up the muscles. Draw the yang chi, the yellow morning light, into your muscles. Look for stuck spots. Allow it to disperse with the breath. The top switch. On the outside of the left arm, up the inside. Round to the back, rolling on the spine. Good morning, Haleakala. Thank you. The more relaxed you are, the better it'll feel. And he thinks that might be holographic. Fluff the hips. On the outside of the legs. Up the inside. Release the belly. Wake up your organs, the belly organs. Percuss, stir up the guts. Look for places of holding, release them. Open them up. For it's more to hold than it does to let go. Long term at least. Center of chest, flat hand. Slapping the surface of the body. Mm, bring that yellow energy up to the skin surface level. Activate your endocrine and your lymphatic. Go down the inside of the arm. Outside of the arm. Sublingual lymph. Top of the head switching. Other side. Down the outside of the left arm, up the inside. And the inside is the yin side. Around the kidneys, down the legs, up the inside. Over the belly to the chest, three deep breaths through the nose. Come to a complete and abrupt halt. Open up every pore of the body. Inhale fresh energy. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe through every pore. We prepare to do Jade Body Qigong of the Liu family lineage. Bringing the middle finger to the thumb, tongue to the roof of the mouth, connecting to the energies of heaven and earth. Visualize your spine. Jade Body Qigong is a form for the spine. We're going to Warm up the spine and then exercise the spine in three distinct sections, the cervical, the thoracic, and the lumbar. And then we'll integrate the spine with a beautiful dancing movement and then close with a fabulous meditation, visualization. So that being said, Inhale, lift your hands out in front of you. Exhale, bring the hands behind you and over your shoulders. Down in front of you. Bring it up your center to your heart, grabbing your heart's energy. As we release, 
our heart's energy out forward into the world. Peeling your fingers back as we say, stretch. The invocation is important to release the energy that's held in the tendons. Inhale, offer the heart's energy out as wide as you possibly can. Stretch. Releasing towards the center. Exhaling as deep as we possibly can. Stretch. Inhaling. Offering our heart's energy as high as we possibly can. Stretch. Grab the arm to your heaven. Wash it over the body as we do a chi wash. Washing off of the body's energy coat. Returning us to our Buddha's body. Seven times. One more time, one more time. And from here, we're going to go to a neutral Qigong stance to that initial mudra. Exchanging Qi with the universe, tongue to the roof of the mouth, open up all the pores. Release the stuck energy as you exhale. Drawing fresh energy through every pore as you inhale. Let's repeat that initial opening sequence. This time I'm going to do the invocation in Chinese or Mandarin. Bong Shani Ko Xin Wo Xian Wang Chen energy. Hong Shani Ko Shin Wu Shen Wang Chen Shen Ko Shin Wu Shen Shen Chen Fong 
しにこしんごしゃんだちゃんBack to that initial opening mudra. Exchanging chi with the universe, connect to heaven and earth, tongue to the roof of the mouth, exchanging chi with the universe. Fresh air in as you inhale, stuck energy out as you exhale. Fong Shani Kushin Wushin Dao Chen Chen means stretch. This is synonymous, so you could use stretch if you wish. Pu Shashi Shen Buddha Chi Wash. Seven times, last time through.
This time, stretch your hands up and pull the energy from earth up into the heavens with your right hand and bring the energy from the heavens into the earth with your left hand and connect the two currents with your thumbs, creating a spark of light. And then fold the two energies together into a ball of light and bring it down to the back of the neck. Bring the ball of light into your cervical vertebrae. Visualize your cervical vertebrae in their perfect state of health and their perfect state of function. And now twisting, rotating, opening up your cervical vertebrae for the first time in the practice. Looking up towards your elbow to increase the stretch. Three times either side. Now becoming a turtle or visualizing yourself as a turtle, wiggle your turtle's tail and pull on your neck, <laughs> pulling the turtle's head out of the turtle shell. Now the next part's very important to clear your throat, to engage the muscles to protect your spine. We're going to roll through clearing the throat. Clearing the dark, stuck energy that could be obstructing your throat or your cervical vertebrae. Wiggling your tail. Stretching the turtle's neck. Chin. Clearing your throat of stuck energy. Wiggle the tail. Stretching the neck. Chin. Shaking the tail. Chin. Let's do it again. Chin. Your cervical vertebrae holding it above your head bringing it over into the front and now bring that ball of light ball of energy into your thoracic vertebrae visualize your thoracic vertebrae in their perfect state of health and their perfect state of function bathe it in that universal light healing it moistening it straightening it and loosening it and as we become a crane and the crane Expands one wing. Chun. Popping the chest forward, increasing the bend in the back. And now we're going to bring the chest inwards as we change arms, wiping the wing clean and switching to the other side. Chun. Change. I'll go sideways so you can watch my thoracic. And I'll exaggerate it. Chun. 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 Chan Chan Now the crane spreads two wings, bringing both wings up and shooting your wings behind you. Chan sending the energy out the feathers at the fingertips. Chun. Chun. 
Jen. 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 All right, so bringing the hands back over to the chest, connecting back into that ball of light in the thoracics. And now slowly bringing that ball of light down through the spine, down into lumbar. Hold the ball of light in the lumbar vertebrae. Visualize the lumbar is in the perfect state of health, perfect state of function. Mm. Visualizing a cliff wall. And from the middle of the cliff wall, see a cave. See a dragon come out of the cave, standing on the edge of the cliff wall. We're going to pop our belly forward, clearing the energy, the dragon fire from the belly. And then pop the lumbar lordosis open as we hop. Chun! I'll go from the side again so you can watch it. Chun! Chun! Chen Chen Imagine that dragon taking off from the cliff and flying amongst the clouds. This is the movement that integrates those three sections together. So allow full rotation of the spine. Follow your hands with your head. This move is called dragon swing dancing. Or I prefer it's also called dragon plays with clouds. You know, living here in Hawaii, there's this thing called the trade winds that blows these cotton puffball clouds tumbling like a parade across our visual landscape all day long. This kind of reminds me of that. Grab the energy, oh, bring it over, bring it down as we go into the shaking, bending, shaking, clearing any residual stuck energy that we haven't moved yet, dump it out now. Standing, shaking, have fun with it, get into your body, really look for stuck spots, bending, shaking. There are practitioners that just do shaking Qigong, 10 to 15 minutes. I highly recommend if you do that practice to do an equal amount of time with stillness to balance the yin and yang. Standing. Bending, shaking. Standing, shaking. Standing, shaking, slow. So now the shaking is mostly internal. Just playing with the energy field inside of the body. Bending, shaking, slow. Standing, shaking, slow. <laughs> Good morning, morning sun. Bending. Standing. All right. As 
was going to trip out on the morning sunlight, but I'll do that later. I guess I'll do it right now. Visualize yourself as a 150-year-old version of yourself standing on the edge of a cliff wall. White robes, white beard, an immortal sage. Imagine you have a beard that's kind of translucent, rainbow-esque. That extends way down to the ground in coils, and piles at your feet. And imagine these coils of the beard, this timeline of history etched in the growth of your hair, connecting to a trail, a path from your feet that go down the edge of the ravine. Imagine yourself as a 150-year-old immortal sage standing on the edge of a ravine at the tip of a path that goes down the ravine, down the wall to the bottom of the canyon. See the path go out the canyon to an open, expansive valley. And at the edge of the horizon, see the path emerging from a distant city. Imagine that city represents the place of your origin, or your place of your birth. Imagine that open, expansive field through which the path travels as your childhood. And then see the path enter the ravine, the canyon, as our karma comes in, as the work of our lifetime, whenever that came in for you. See the path going through smooth, beautiful meadows, rocky, boulderous ravines, slippery waterfalls. See the path going through all these places. Up the final ascent to the position of the immortal sage. Bring your hands up. Bring the energy down and grab the beard. And slowly start massaging your beard as you look back and contemplate back upon the path of your life to where you are now. Celebrate all the folly the fun, and at one point see yourself where you are on your path looking up to the position of the immortal sage with envy. Make eye contact to the immortal sage looking down upon the experience of life with envy. When you get that moment, allow the cosmic giggle to open you up. Get to the bottom of the beard, let go, tongue to the roof of the mouth, exchanging chi with the universe. And gather this whole scene, everything we've done, the offering the heart in the four directions, the chi wash, the neck stretching, the turtle, the crane, the dragon, the flying in the clouds, the chi jumping, the immortal sage, gather all of this energy into one ball of light in the lower Dantian, the lower belly. As you beam the energy and see the ball of light get brighter, closing hand over hand, sealing the energy in. Closing the hands and the feet, a moment of thanks and praise to the energy of heaven for its warmth, its guiding light, its action, the energy of earth for its substance, its fuel, its solidarity, its coolness, its stillness. And then I like to add a third, I like to thank ourselves for having the courage to stand in between, 
Create some good warmth, chi in your hands, and now release the chi onto the face. Massage the face with an emphasis to the downward motion. More rigorous now. Really open up all the acupoints of the face and draw the chi over the scalp. Activating all the acupoints of the scalp. More vigorous. Grabbing the chi over the chest to the belly. Woohoo! One point of stillness is wake up back into the visual of this world. Thank you all so much for joining me, everybody.